friends now we have to take the quadrant in which theta line if first condition sin theta is less than 0 and tan theta is greater than 0 and in second condition cos theta is less than 0 and tan theta is greater than 0 means here we have to find the quadrant in which this angle theta lies in two separate conditions friends don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1st to class 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. Friends, now see the problem. In this problem, two situations are given and in these two situations, you have to find quadrant in which theta lies. Before to start this, let us clear the concept first. First we have to draw our coordinate system. This horizontal line is our x axis. This vertical line is our y axis. This is our standard unit circle having center at the origin and radius 1, 1 unit. Now, if you, if you want to draw any angle in this system, then first we have to draw an initial arm. See this green ray. Suppose this is our initial arm, O x. Now, this red colored ray, this is our terminal arm. Start origin from O. Now, if this arm is coincide with our initial arm, that means the angle from here is zero. Now, if this terminal arm will be on the positive direction of y axis originated from O, that means OY, then in this condition, the angle from here is 90 degree. That means, for angle 0 degree, terminal arm is on x axis, on its positive direction, and for angle 90 degree, terminal arm is on positive direction of y axis. For angle greater than 0 and less than 90, terminal arm will be in the first quadrant. That means if the angle is in between 0 to 90, then the arc, uh, the terminal arc will be in the first quadrant. That means when the angle is between 0 to 90, in that case, both coordinates have same sign. X is positive as well as Y is also positive. That means polar coordinates cos theta is also positive and sin theta is also positive. If the angle is in between 90 to 180, then terminal arm will be in second quadrant and in that case cos theta will be negative and sin theta will be positive. If the given angle is in between 180 to 270, 182 to 270 then both coordinates have negative sign that means cos theta is also negative and sin theta is also negative and if the angle is in between 270 to 360 then it lies in fourth quadrant and that's why cos theta means x coordinate become positive and sin theta means y coordinate become negative now see here, first situation or first condition, sin theta is less than 0 and tan theta is greater than 0. And you have to find the quadrant in which theta lies. According to first condition of this situation, sin theta is less than 0. That means sin theta is negative. And we know sin theta means y coordinate. And that's why we can say that y is negative. Now, see second condition, tan theta is greater than 0. That means tan theta is positive. Now, we know tan theta is, is, tan theta is the ratio of sin theta and cos theta. Means tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta. And if tan theta is positive, that means either 
साइन एंड कॉस बोथ आर पॉजिटिव और साइन एंड कॉस बोथ आर निगेटिव बट अकॉर्डिंग टू फर्स्ट कंडीशन वी गेट साइन थीटा इज निगेटिव इफ साइन थीटा इज निगेटिव दैट मीन्स कॉस थीटा इज ऑल्सो निगेटिव बिकॉज देन ओनली वी विल गेट टेन थीटा पॉजिटिव इफ साइन एंड कॉस बोथ विल बी निगेटिव देन ओनली वी विल गेट साइन टेन थीटा पॉजिटिव एंड देर वर वी कैन से डैट कॉस थीटा दैट मीन्स एक्स कॉर्डिनेट इज निगेटिव नौ सी Since both x and y coordinates are negative, here we got x and y both coordinates are negative, and therefore we can say that theta lies in the third quadrant. Theta lies in the third quadrant because in third quadrant x coordinate is negative as well as y coordinate is also negative. That means if both the coordinates are negative, we can say that theta lies in the third quadrant. Now see. Second situation, cos theta is less than zero and tan theta is greater than zero. And again, we have to find the quadrant in which theta lies. Now see first condition, cos theta is less than zero. That means cos theta is negative. Therefore, we can say that x coordinate is negative. Now see second condition, tan theta is greater than zero. And that means tan theta is positive. Now see again, if tan theta is positive, that means sine and cos both are positive or both are negative, because tan theta is the ratio of sine theta and cos theta. Correct? That's why see tan theta is positive. That means sine and cos both are negative or both are positive. But here. Already we got cos theta is negative. If cos theta is negative, that means sine theta is also negative, and so we can say that y coordinate is also negative. Now see, since both x and y, these both coordinates are negative, then we can say that theta lies in the third quadrant. See again. If both x and y coordinates are negative, then we can say that theta lies in the third quadrant. 